welcome we will start with most basic and important question what is hvac qualification in pharmaceutical industry answer is hvac qualification refers to the process of verifying and documenting that heating ventilation and air conditioning systems in a pharmaceutical industry or facility are designed installed and operated according to predefined standards and regulatory requirements second question is why is hvac qualification is important in the pharmaceutical industry answer is hvac qualification is important to ensure that the environmental conditions in pharmaceutical manufacturing areas storage spaces and laboratories remain consistent controlled and compliant with good manufacturing practices that is gmp to maintain product quality and safety next important question is what are the different stages of hvac qualification the stages of hvac qualification typically includes following first design qualification also known as dq second installation qualification that is iq third operational qualification oq and last is performance qualification that is pq each stage verifies specific aspects of the hvac systems design installation operation and performance who is responsible for conducting hvac qualification hvac qualification is an joint responsibility and the qualification process is usually a collaborative effort involving the pharmaceutical companies engineering team hvac contractors quality assurance personnel and sometimes external validation experts what is covered in the design qualification phase that is dq phase answer is the dq phase ensures that the hvac systems design meets the intended requirements including temperature humidity and cleanliness levels as per industry and regulatory guidelines what does the installation qualification or iq phase involve answer is the iq phase verifies that the hvac system is installed correctly and all components are in place as per approved design and manufacturer specifications what is tested during operational qualification that is oq phase answer is the oq phase involves testing the hvac system's performance under normal operating conditions to ensure that it operates within the predetermined or predefined parameters at the oq stage we prepare the draft sops required for operation of hvac system what does the performance qualification or pq phase evaluate performance qualification is the last phase of qualification of hvac system the pq phase assesses the hvac system's ability to maintain the desired environmental conditions consistently over an extended period reflecting real world or working conditions during pharmaceutical operations this is very frequently asked question how often should hvac qualification be conducted or in other words what should be the frequency for hvac qualification answer is hvac qualification should be performed initially during installation and commissioning afterward it should be periodically revalidated at predefined intervals example every 1 to 3 years or following any significant system modification to summarize there are three frequencies for hvac qualification first initial qualification second periodically and third is after major change or modification the question is about risk assessment in hvac qualification question is what is the purpose of risk assessment in hvac qualification answer is a risk assessment is conducted to identify critical control points such as hottest point and coldest point for area under evaluation within the hvac system and to prioritize validation activities based on the potential impact on product quality and patient safety how can a pharmaceutical industry ensure compliance during hvac qualification answer is ensuring compliance involves thorough documentation adherence to established protocols maintaining gmp standards and following industry guidelines such as isps baseline guide for hvac qualification This one is very important question what is the impact of hvac system failures on pharmaceutical production answer is hvac system failures can lead to compromised environmental conditions which may adversely affect product stability sterility and overall quality potentially leading to product recalls and financial losses 
नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन कैन एच वैक क्वालिफिकेशन बी परफॉर्म इन ए फैसिलिटी विच इज इन ऑलरेडी ऑपरेशनल स्टेज डायरेक्ट आंसर टू दिस क्वेश्चन इज येस एच वैक क्वालिफिकेशन कैन बी कंडक्टेड इन ए फैसिलिटी दैट इज ऑलरेडी इन ऑपरेशनल स्टेज इन सच केसेज द प्रोसेस में इन्वॉल्व ए रिट्रोस्पेक्टिव इवेल्युएशन ऑफ एग्जिस्टिंग सिस्टम्स टू एंश्योर कंप्लायंस विथ करंट स्टैंडर्ड्स हियर रिट्रोस्पेक्टिव इवेल्युएशन मीन्स और करस्पॉन्ड्स टू रिव्यू ऑफ प्रीवियस और अवेलेबल डेटा हाउ कैन कंटिन्यूस मॉनिटरिंग कॉन्ट्रीब्यूट टू एच वैक क्वालिफिकेशन आंसर इज कंटिन्यूस मॉनिटरिंग ऑफ क्रिटिकल पैरामीटर सच एज टेम्परेचर ह्यूमिडिटी एंड प्रेशर कैन प्रोवाइड रियल टाइम डेटा टू एसेस एच वैक सिस्टम परफॉर्मेंस एंड एड इन आइडेंटिफाइंग पोटेंशियल डेविएशन और ट्रेंड्स How does HVAC qualification align with regulatory requirements? Answer is HVAC qualification align with regulatory requirements such as CGMP that is Current Good Manufacturing Practices, EUGMP Annex One and FDA guidelines. It demonstrates a commitment to quality and compliance, ensuring the integrity of pharmaceutical products throughout their life cycle. Which are the five commonly performed tests during HVAC qualification? Five commonly performed tests during HVAC qualification are air flow and air velocity testing, temperature and humidity mapping, filter integrity testing, pressure differentials and recovery and response time testing. Along with this, as per the process requirement, other tests like air changes per hour and microbiological testing are also done. What are the typical acceptance criteria for HVAC qualification test? Answer is Acceptance criteria for HVAC qualification tests are predefined limits or ranges that the system must meet to be considered qualified. These criteria are established based on the industry standards, regulatory guidelines and the specific requirements of the pharmaceutical facility. How does HVAC system impact energy efficiency and sustainability? HVAC qualification can optimize system performance leading to better energy efficiency reducing energy consumption and lower operational cost by ensuring that hvac system operate at their design capacity and pharmaceutical companies can contribute to goals and minimize their environmental impact how can deviations and non conformities identified during hvac qualification shall be addressed deviations and non conformities identified during hvac qualification should be thoroughly investigated to determine their root cause corrective actions should be implemented promptly and preventive measures should be put in place to prevent reoccurrence or recurrence what are the major components of hvac system in pharmaceutical industry here seven major components of hvac system are mentioned first ahu that is air handling unit second heating system third cooling system fourth humidification system fifth filtration system including hepa filter sixth duct work and seventh exhaust systems what are the requirements for airborne particles in grade a grade b grade c and grade d area refer below table for maximum permitted particles of size 0.5 and 5 micron and microbiological limit for grade a grade b grade c and grade d area this table is as per iso standard 14644 2015 note that this table may vary as per the various regulatory requirements example eu gm panex 1 can hvac qualification be extended to the clean room environment answer is yes hvac qualification is particularly essential in clean room environments to maintain the required cleanliness temperature and humidity conditions clean rooms are critical areas in pharmaceutical manufacturing where a high level of environmental control is necessary to prevent contamination and ensure product quality how does hvac qualification support regulatory inspections and audits during inspection and audits regulatory authorities review hvac qualification documentation and processes to ensure that environmental conditions meet gmp requirements and industry guideline A robust HVAC qualification program can facilitate smooth regulatory inspections and enhance the company's overall compliance standing. How does HVAC qualification address the risk of cross contamination in pharmaceutical manufacturing? HVAC qualification includes measures to ensure proper air handling and segregation 
to minimize the risk of cross contamination between different manufacturing areas preventing product contamination and maintaining product integrity can hvac qualification impact the shelf life and stability of pharmaceutical products answer is yes hvac qualification plays a significant role in maintaining required storage conditions such as temperature and humidity which directly affect the stability and shelf life of pharmaceutical products what are the key documentation requirements for hvac qualification key documentation for hvac qualification includes qualification protocols standard operating procedures that is sops risk assessments calibration records validation reports and change control documentation how does hvac qualification support the validation of pharmaceutical manufacturing processes hvac qualification ensures that environmental conditions within manufacturing areas are controlled and maintained consistently this supports the overall process validation efforts and contributes to production of high quality and reliable pharmaceutical products this one is very important question why 0.2 micron filter is used in hvac system in the pharmaceutical industry answer is a 0.2 micron filter is used in hvac system in the pharmaceutical industry because it effectively removes a wide range of microorganisms aligns with regulatory requirements and has a history of successful use in maintaining product stability reference pharmaceutical microbiology manual and pds technical report number 41 2008 can hvac qualification impact employee safety and comfort answer is yes hvac qualification ensures that employee working in pharmaceutical facilities are provided with safe and comfortable working conditions last and very important question which guidelines are commonly referred for hvac qualification here five commonly referred guidelines for hvac qualification are given first ashrae guideline second isp good practice guide third fds guidance for industry fourth usp general chapter number 1079 and fifth iso 14644 Keep watching Farmgo subscribe to channel for more videos related to our pharmaceutical industry